Guys, I'm sad. I'm like legitimately about to get rid of my firstborn child, uh, the Dodge Dakota. Unfortunately, and I don't have to, I mean, let's be honest here, like, it still runs perfectly, you know, to some extent. It still runs good though, and uh, basically, I'm just kind of looking towards the future. Uh, I'll make another video really getting in depth with the reasons behind me wanting a new vehicle and buying a new vehicle. And what it takes to get a brand new 2018 Ford F-150 and like that. Make another one of those later on, but for now, I just need to get over my slight depression that I'm putting myself into by getting rid of my first born child of the Back. So, I'm on my way to go and get my little baby, the Dakota, to get an appraise where I'm buying my next vehicle, which, as y'all should probably know by now, is just for the Ford Lincoln. They treat me right, make sure that I'm uh, completely taken care of. I've not really had any problems out of it. So, as long as it stays that way, I will stay going. But, oh man, it's uh, really difficult to commit to getting rid of this truck, you know, this is the first vehicle I've ever, I mean, I guess in a way own. you know, I learned to drive more or less in my truck, I learned everything about this truck, and quite literally if my truck was able to talk, I probably would be broke and in jail by now, because of, I mean, I'm just kidding guys, I uh, never do anything illegal, especially not behind the wheel. But, uh, you know, as I'm sure some of y'all may understand, your first vehicle is something that you just, once you get rid of, you can never get that back. And uh, it's not that I'm, like, super uh, attached to the truck, I guess. I mean, I am, but I'm not, like... I don't. I know that I'll be. I'll be over it by the time that I'm driving that new one. But nonetheless, you know, just going back through my old YouTube videos and whatnot, I was like, wow, dude, this truck is amazing. I mean, 4.7 liter V8. I think it's got like a four-speed transmission. I mean, we're talking maybe 250 horsepower. You know, it's nothing crazy, but if you add NOS to it, uh, it does go faster. But, I mean, it's a very fun truck, and it's also extremely capable. That is a plastic bag landscaping. Uh, I pulled my landscaping trailer with it. It's got zero turn, blowers, spreaders, uh, weed eaters. And then, of course, I put all my grass seed in the fall. So, I think I've had up to 15 bags uh, in the back of the truck. I like a very, very substantial amount of weight especially for such a small pickup truck. And the only thing that's really cried and whined and that this truck has a problem with is what I've done to it, you know what I mean? I may or may not have been sliding in the snow and there was a guardrail that jumped out. But, uh, you know, other than that, this truck has literally not given me any problems, you know? Although I neglect to change the oil, I neglect to change the battery. You know, I, I had nothing bad. To All right, so we're here. There's the Dakota. First thing he points out is the uh, the minor paint damage. Um, I just do a little bit of a boarding and some more there and some more there, but you know, not a big deal.
Alright, so I'm sitting inside of the Roush Ford F-150. Um, it, quite honestly, looks absolutely no different from the truck combined, other than it has the panoramic sunroof. But quite literally, other than that, it's, it's basically the same truck. This one may have a tad bit more power, but, you know. The numbers, uh, they're just numbers. If you're wondering, this is from a uh, 70 pound bulldog. She decided to jump in my face, was inspecting it, and I don't even know if it was before. But no big deal, it's fine. Anyways, look at this lovely setup here. You, know, you got your sodas, you got your coffee stuff, you have some water if you want. Pretty nice setup for me. Nice cabinetry. Uh, I wouldn't even leave you. No, I don't wait here. I just love the. Gotta relax. This is Earth Radio. Rolling out. And now um, human music. That was incredibly easy, okay? <laughs> They started it up, checked everything out, looked at it, and they literally asked me, they go, how much do you want for it? I told them what I wanted. They go, yeah, that's fine. We'll give you that. Um, you bought a car from us before. It's, yeah, just let me know when you're ready to sell it. So anyways, to answer the question that I'm sure everyone's thinking now, what am I selling the truck for? Or trading it in for whatever. And the answer is $1,100, okay? Uh, it would probably be worth, I guess, closer to 15 if I like it. the right side of it didn't have damage, like I mentioned previously in this video. But, um, yeah, I mean, $1,100, Kelly Blue Book, Kelly Blue Book is $800 to $1,500. I told them... You know, realistically, I'd like to see 1100 out of it, which, I mean, I honestly was thinking they are going to come at me with, like, a $700 off of, like, CarMax, but they literally didn't even flinch an eye. They're like, yeah, that's fine. You bought a vehicle. You're about to buy another one. Your mom's bought one. Um, yeah, that's not a problem, so we'll see here, but CarMax, y'all suck. Once again, Richard Ford, y'all are actually the best dealership I've ever worked with. And just in case y'all are wondering, in my spare time I go to dealerships to test drive people. Why? Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. But, like I said guys, that's all I got for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, so this is a random extra to this video. I'll just put this in at the end or something. But, uh, the check engine light has been on for, I don't know, how many months. I mean, you can scroll back through my videos and see it and... I mean, I would say it's been on for close to like a year, and I go to sell the truck, and look, it's not on. I don't know what happened, I'm not going to question it, but the salesman, he goes, uh, yeah man, I started up, no check engine lights, nothing. And uh, it didn't occur to me until just now, but where did it go? I mean, that's my little light. You know, every time I get in, I'm singing this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine, so... I, I almost miss it now, but that's good.